good morning everyone and uh, welcome again to our next topic delivery document <coughs> so let us see what are the concept and function of delivery document <coughs> so so far basically what we have seen are let me show you that <coughs> so we have seen basically a sales order first and then from the sales order we created a delivery or outbound delivery and from there we have seen we have done billing okay so so far we have seen all the functionalities available in sales order now we, we see wh what is how to customize and how things work in delivery okay so we'll discuss delivery and later on we'll go to billing later on okay so delivery so first we'll just see the overview and then we'll go into the customizing of delivery so in logistic ex execution we have basically uh, two types of process so one is good receipts and one is good issue okay so so far what we have seen was good issue okay so we created a sales order first and from the sales order we're doing the outbound delivery that means we uh, we are doing the goods issue okay <laughs> but there is another process which is called goods received okay so when when we're doing the good receipt so basically um, if you think of if I create a return order if I create a return order okay that means um, I'm creating a order so that my goods that are supposed to be uh, get back from the customer for any reason okay then we create a return order so when we create a return order and when we do the delivery then that means we creating the <coughs> inbound delivery not outbound okay in the case of return order or in the case of purchase order okay purchase order is basically uh, SAP MM uh, thing but not for us but when we create a purchase order to buy something or buy a raw material then to 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 bring the stock to our main stock to bring the goods into our main stock we, we create an inbound delivery in that case and same in the return order okay but when you think about a sales order or any other type of similar order then we create a outbound delivery okay outbound delivery okay so in the case of the uh, in the case of um, outbound delivery basically what happens is uh, we doing the goods issue okay we sending the goods out and in the case of this one, what, what we're doing is um, goods received. Okay, so so basically there are two processes: good receipts and good goods issue. Okay, so we're creating goods issue in the case of sales order or similar documents, and goods received we're doing it in the case of return order and purchase order. This is what this slide is saying. So there are two types of process in logistics, two types of receipt. One is the uh, uh, goods issue and goods received. Okay. Then so application areas of delivery document. So as I said, when we create when we create a sales order, then we do the outbound delivery. But when we create a purchase order, okay, then we do the inbound delivery. Okay, you can see different types of delivery here. For example, even there is a thing called projects. This is SAP dif different SAP module project system PS SAP PS project system. So in that case, we create a first we create a project, and uh, and then we create a delivery from project. Okay, so basically you can see we have not only one type of delivery which is outbound delivery. We have a couple of a couple of them, and they work differently. Sorry, I think I, I was disconnected. <clears throat> so, so what I was saying was, um, so we have different types of deliveries for different types of uh, process, like purchase order and uh, sales order and stock transport order. So, stock transport order is just like when we sending a stock from one plant to other plant. Okay, so that's 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 a that's a BMM thing. Okay, in that case, we create replenishment delivery. 
okay so we will discuss more uh, about